what to extent is the uh, or the degree of the autonomy that uh, Indian universities have or the Indian education system has? Fundamentally, yeah. this whole thing is about whether the students benefit or not. Yeah. The other is of course whether the university is done right or not. Yeah. And the, the third most crucial is should the government at all be exercising any control mm -hmm. and if so, how much? In principle, universities are autonomous. Uh, in principle, they are governed by, in Maharashtra they are governed, but governed by Maharashtra Universities Act and there are various autonomous bodies of the university which are supposed to run the university. Uh, okay, so, so in principle they are indeed autonomous, the state government has certain powers because the state government ultimately provides the salary. But what happens in principle is, is universities are hardly ever autonomous because everyone right from the vice chancellor to the pro vice chancellor to the BCD director and members of various bodies are either appointed directly by politicians or have some very strong political connections. The UGC does not on paper have control over such policies. On paper, universities are free to decide the course structures and curriculum and all of that uh, through internal mechanisms of governance they have. But I think what is happening in the UGC obviously is the grant making organization. And uh, so fear that if you don't tow the UGC line, uh, your funding would then uh, be jeopardized. And that is the fear that I think forcing colleges and universities to then go out of their way and it will undermine their own autonomy which is given by law and accept this is victim.